This is 5-Minute Power Platform, and today we're doing a project called Autograph-O-Matic. And the idea is that we're going to set up a system so that someone could email an autograph request in, and then Flow will then take that in and run a desktop UI flow that will then create an image, a PNG file that's a personalized autograph request that's going to be dropped in OneDrive, and then Flow will then send that back out to the requester so that they'll send an email request in, and then a couple minutes later they'll get an email response based upon uh, with their autograph attached to it. The autograph we're going to be used for this is this picture of Charles Lamont. If you don't know him, he's the technical leader behind uh, Power Platform. And so we thought, how what an appropriate autograph to use. And so our code is going to be then filling in this autograph and this very fraudulent, fraudulent looking autograph photo of Charles and then emailing it back out to the requester. Uh, so let's start with recording the UI flow. And I'm going to start by using this uh, virtual machine here, this Windows 10 virtual machine. Now you could run this on your own desktop, but what will happen is Flow will kick off your UI flow and it'll control the mouse, it's controlling the keyboard, and that can be you know, a little disruptive if you're trying to get your work done. So I've created this virtual machine specifically for running these UI flows. And if you want to build your own, I've got a separate video linked in the description that explains exactly how I built this. But in particular, there's a couple of key things on here. One, I've installed the on-premise data gateway and logged in as the same account or in the same tenant of my flow. And so you can see that it's connected because I've got these green checkboxes here. Also, I've installed Chrome and I've installed the Chrome Flow extension. And so for desktop UI flows, this is where the recorder lives. So this is the only one you need for desktop UI flows. Now for this particular use case, I've done two more things. I've created uh, OneDrive folders, one for the finished autographs, and then another one called Source Documents where I've got that PowerPoint document that'll be the template for our, for our autographs. And it looks like this. So it's that picture, and then it's got a text block here, and this is where our autograph inscription will go, our message. And so that's how we're going to do this. And so to begin, let's start, uh, let's start with our Power Automate flow. So we'll go into My Flows. And we'll go into UI flows and we'll create a new UI flow. This is going to be a desktop UI flow. And it's going to be called autograph o We're going to have two parameters. One is the run ID. This is going to be the name of the files we save out. We want them to be uniquely named so we don't have to worry about name conflicts. For now, we'll just uh, give it some random numbers. And I'll just call this the unique run ID. The second one is the actual message we want put on the autograph file. And so this would be the message. And for the sample data, we'll say Power Platform is great. And uh, description is, this is the autograph inscription. And then we'll go to next here, and we'll start recording. You notice that as I type, the keys I'm typing are showing up in the bottom left of the screen. I'm going to use a lot of shortcut keys. I wanted to make it easy for you to be able to see them. So let's launch the recorder. The recorder launches at the top. Now, one of the things I found works best is you launch your program before you click record. You'll also see that I've got my file here in the most recently used, but I'm not going to use that. I'm actually going to copy in this, the location for this file so that even if those most recently used files move around, I'm not dependent on those. I'm going to explicitly specify everything. So we'll start by clicking record. And then the first thing I'm going to do is click on PowerPoint to make sure that it flow knows that, or UI flows know that it is a thing in focus. And then I'm going to open the file using only shortcut keys, starting with Alt-O for open. And then you can see the letters indicated there. So I'm going to browse for a file with O. I'm going to paste in the location of the file. And then you can see open here. O is underlined. So it's Alt-O to in instigate the open. Here's my file. And then now we're going to put, the, uh, we're going to put a placeholder message in the, uh, in the autograph message here. And so rather than use the input from above in the recording, I'm just going to type in message. And we're going to replace that as we edit this. And so now we're done. Now let's go through the process of exporting this as a PNG. So we'll do Alt-F. And then E for export, C for change file type, F for a PNG, A to bring up the save as dialog. I'm going to paste in the location I want it. And then you can see the save button has Alt S for save. Now PNGs ask you an extra question. Do you want all slides or just one? Which is weird because there's only one slide in this PowerPoint. Alt J does just this one. And then let's close the file. Control W to cl close the file. Alt N to not save. Now, I'm not going to close PowerPoint. I'm going to stop recording first. I found it works better that way. And then I'll close PowerPoint. And let's review our recording. Now, I think the best practice is to rename all these. We've got a, you know, a hundred and something send keys in here. We've got a bunch of send keys in here. They get confusing. I'm not going to bother to rename them this time. But let's look at what we recorded. Launch PowerPoint. Left click brings PowerPoint into focus. Send keys. Alt-O brings up that open. 
O brings up then the open dialog. We paste it in the location, but we're not always going to have that on the clipboard. So let's replace that with the actual location of the file. So that's the link to that PowerPoint file. And then Alt-O then actually forces it to open. Left click is selecting the text area. Send keys is where we typed the word message and then we started the export process with an Alt-F. We're gonna replace the word message with the actual message input that's going into the UI flow. So that way we'll get the right text in there. And then Alt-F started the export, E for export, C for change file type, uh, P, uh, F for PNG type, A to execute the save as. And then okay, this is the file name here, Control V is where I pasted in the file name. We're gonna actually specify the file path and then use the run ID for the file location. And so here, let me delete this. This is the OneDrive file path and then run ID to give the file name the run ID. And then Alt S is where it recorded the beginning of the save sequence. And J saying we only want the, uh, the one slide. And then we close the file with a control W. We say not to save it with an Alt N. And then let's add in an action to close the application. Okay, so let's save this and then we'll give it a test. So next we'll test it. Let's just give it a new run ID even though we didn't use that. And say Plow Platform is great, especially UI flows. And we'll test it. And when I test it, I'm gonna minimize this so that the only thing on the screen is PowerPoint and then we'll watch it execute. So right now it is opening PowerPoint. Uh, it's gonna, it usually after it opens, it waits a second, but we should see the mouse move to the bottom half of the screen as it puts PowerPoint into focus. There it is. And then we should start seeing the open sequence. So uh, Control O to open. And then O again to browse for a file. It's gonna type in the location of the file because we specified that, we hard coded it in the UI flow. And then it's gonna use Alt O to click the open button for us. It selected the text. It's gonna type in the text then the message that was our, from our parameter. Power platform is great, especially UI flows. And now it's going through the export sequence. So Alt F, E for export, C for change file type, F for PNG, A to save as, and then it's gonna use the path of the OneDrive and it's gonna put in the run ID as well. And it's saved just this one. So do Alt J, close the file, and then it's gonna close PowerPoint. We should have a successful run. All right, so if we come back in here now, we'll see that uh, Got a successful run, we'll save and exit. And if we look in OneDrive too, we should have in our finished docs, the end result, this PNG file that it generated from that PowerPoint with our message in there. So now we're ready to do the rest of it. And if coming back to PowerPoint here, we see the, the rest of it is then the kind of the connection between the autograph request over email, initializing the, or start kicking off the UI flow, pulling that document out of OneDrive and then sending the autograph photo back. So to do that, I'm not gonna do that on my uh, virtual machine. I'm gonna come back to my desktop uh, because that's the nice thing is, you know, once you've got this virtual machine connected, you don't have to work on the virtual machine. You can work on your desktop as well. And so let's do this. Let's create a flow here. And this is going to be an automated flow because it's gonna trigger on a new email. And we'll call this one Autograph-O-Matic uh, Flow. And then it's gonna be an Outlook triggered email and it's gonna trigger when a new email arrives. So when a new email arrives in my inbox, I'm just gonna do everything out of my inbox uh, just for simplicity. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna create a new run ID variable. And so we'll initialize a variable and this will be the run ID. And we want this to be uh, globally unique. So we'll use the expression for a GUID, and that'll make sure that we always have unique file names as we save them out into that finished document folder. After that, we're ready to call the UI flow. So here in the UI flow, run UI flow for desktop. Now here we're going to do a new connection. We just do this the first time. And so this one's going to be called UI flow. The username is going to be the domain and username of the computer, uh, or mine's not on a domain. So it's the actual uh, name of the computer and then my username. 
my password to log into it. And because I've installed the on-premise data gateway, you can see I've also got UI flow registered here. So create this connection. Once it creates, it should then give us a list of the available UI flows, which should be just the, only, just the one we created. There it is, autograph-o-matic. When it finds it, then it's going to bring up our two parameters. The first one is the run ID, which we just created in a variable here. And the inscription, the message we want on the autograph. And that's going to be the subject of the email for us. And then after that runs, we will have a finished document that has the uh, autograph. And so we'll pull that up with OneDrive. So using OneDrive for business, we are going to get a file by path, get the file content by path. And then we'll see here from our finished documents, we could just take this one, but the actual name is going to not be that, but it's going to be the run ID and then dot PNG. So let's put that in and get rid of the uh, text that was already in here for the, for the sample file. And so that'll open up our finished file. And then the last thing we need to do is then just email it back to the requester. And so we'll do that again with Outlook. And so with Outlook then we'll send an email and we're going to send an email to, rather than suggested people, we're going to send it to the from email address on our received email address. And the subject will be your autograph request. And in the body, we'll just put, uh, thanks for your interest in Power Platform. And then, of course, we need to attach the file. The attachment's name is going to be autograph. And the content is going to be the file content that we got from OneDrive. So that's that. So let's test this now. I'll just send an email to myself and we should see a, see a response come back. And in the meantime, we should also see it fire up um, our, uh, our UI flow. I'm just going to close all the tabs here so that we can more easily see the UI flow on my remote desktop. I'll put this in test mode. And now it's going to be listening for a new email. So let's just, I'll just send an email to my inbox here so we can just test this. And so uh, what would I want my autograph from Charles to say? I'd want it to say, Phil, you taught me everything I know about Power Platform. Oh, thanks. That's nice. Okay, so send. Came in here. We should see it get picked up by flow. So we see it got the email arrived, initialized variable. It already started running the UI flow. So let's come over here. And we see here on the uh, remote desktop here in the virtual machine, it's already started PowerPoint. And I'm not doing any of this, right? This is all initialized by Flow. Flow kicked off this process. The cursor moved to the bottom, so it put focus on here. We should see the open sequence start here in a second. It's going to open up our charles.ppt template. Alt O to open. And then it should take the subject from the email. It's going to put it in there as the inscription on the, uh, on the autograph. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's nice. And then it's going to go through the export process, exporting it as a PNG. It's going to save it out as a file name using that run ID. So we're going to have a long GUID as the file name. Saves that out, just this one, just this one file with an Alt-J. Closes the file, closes out PowerPoint, now it's reset for the next one. So then let's, let's uh, minimize uh, the virtual machine here, come back to flow, and see it's gonna, uh, fa it's gonna complete the UI flow for desktop. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to realize that it's done. And then you can see it, I already got the content, sent an email back, and I've got an email here so here's the response email, your autograph request. Thanks for your interest in Power Platform. I've got an attachment here. And so this is a PNG attached. It says, Phil, you taught me everything you know about Power Platform, which is uh, just, just feels great. Just that's 
terrific. So that's a, that's a quick and dirty demo, but I wanted to be able to show a little more than I did in my first video on uh, UI flows, but I really how to connect them into flows. Now, if you want to get deeper into the UI flow recording, I'll put a link into my first video. It's got more detail on that, but this is really kind of how you could then tie this into a cloud-based process, like sending an email and connecting, putting a file on OneDrive, but still have a desktop-based process in the center. I hope this was useful to you. Thanks for watching.